guys so welcome back to another episode and today what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't uh, get to another planet and explore it we have the other one that we technically explored so we'll check that one out but um, I just wanted to see if there's yeah there's not a lot of stuff we can actually purchase here <laughs> I have it uh, bookmarked so we can come back here before we leave and we'll go ahead and just some of these stuff but um, if we come across some of these other places we might be able to get the waypoint now I think I put another one on this planet I think it's just right over there so we'll yeah I'm not sure how far that is eight minutes so yeah let's go outside of the atmosphere and then we'll just kind of hop around yeah that would have taken a while to get there yeah, very long while. And then we'll just pick this one up because we don't really need it. Then we can just store it on our person or... Um... Or uh, in our ship, maybe. But yeah, we scanned pretty much this planet. So we can just grab that, pick that up. All right, let's go to another one, uh, another planet. Which one did we go to? I think it was that one, yeah. So let's explore that planet. Okay, so we'll pick up the other beacon as well. See if I can get it locked on. Now this is a cold planet, like a uh, really icy one, so there's gonna be a little bit of different environment here.
we actually got all four plat or four creatures on this planet, so we can just upload that quickly, and then we'll just get all the nanites. So let's head back to our uh, starship. It's just this direction over here. I don't think there's anything that does this. Is, um, that just gives you ferry. Yeah, so I don't think there's much plants on this planet. Oh, actually, there are those. I did notice them before. Um, I think they're like rare comedies, so we can pick those up. Let's see. Yeah, we got some items from that, so we can put those on our freighter. Uh, Exocraft, and then that one. That can go here. So those are basically used for um, crafting more advanced resources. I think you can get, like, refine them as well and get some other materials from it. We're running low on actually some of these stuff. Uh, this is actually really valuable. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. Alright. So, let's head back to our ship. We're almost there. Uh, I think those are plants, so we can kind of mine those up. And that should give us quite a bit. Okay, we can put some of this stuff over. I'm not worried about the storm coming in because we have um, a whole bunch of stuff that we can, like, for survival uh, on our thing. We have, like, all this technology down here, so we should be fine. Actually, I wonder what it would look like inside the uh, cabin there. Oh wow, that's a lot different to drive. Does it actually give you... Oh, you can honk your horn, that's cool.
So we actually found a uncommon um, underground creature. Oh, and um, let's see where that pet companion thing went. I can't remember where the exit is. But we got a companion as well. Let's see if I can find it. I think it might have just took off on me. <laughs> okay, that might have been... Not sure where it went, but it's, um, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's uh, one of those long neck ones, but it's a really fancy one. Like, it's uh, still young, but it was way better designed. It's like an extremely rare creature to begin with. Um, I got like 200,000 for discovering it, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, at the moment, it, it's too young to lay eggs, so we can't really um, customize the appearance or anything like that. But, it, I mean, I already really like how it looks, so that might be worth um, keeping for sure. But, anyhow, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... We're just waiting for one type of bird creature on this planet. Um, it says... Uh, let's see here. Uncommon flying durantial or dur diurnal. I, I can't really pronounce that one. Uh, so it's like a flying creature that I do know for sure. So it doesn't say that it has to be in any um, particular location. Just that it it's uncommon. So my best guess is if we keep walking we'll be able to find one but uh, let's go ahead and just charge up our, our heat and our cool and we should be able to just kind of walk around that always scares me uh, those little ships that pop in all right so let's go this way and we'll just walk. Uh, that way, when we do get out of range, we'll be able to see if anything pops up. It doesn't say if it's uh, during the night that they come out or if it's during the day. Uh, this is a hot planet, though. So, But as far as I can tell, it's uh, a planet that is not um, extreme storms. So we at least have that going for us. see I haven't scanned that I know for sure I'm trying to also scan as much as I can on these planets as well
Alright, so we've come to another planet. I do not think we've been to one of these yet. Uh, I do know about them. I have gotten one of these weird comedies before. So, um, basically, it's one of those uh, curiosity planets. I'm not sure, though. There we go. Yeah, there's these ball things that are on it as well. So, we can basically just complete that. And we'll go ahead and uh, quickly scan um, some things next episode on this planet. I'm sure there's a few different things that we can scan. Um, there's actually a few things, not much. If we can find a cave, then we can probably find some extra things. But um, I'm not sure if there's any caves in this general area. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.